This video is copyright protected, which is detailed on the last slide. The shoot prison code is to inform the user when the shoot is open when the hopper spreader is on. If the module detects that the shoot is open, the control will display CP in the diagnostic box on the control and the hopper will be inoperable during this time. If the CP code is displayed on the control when the shoot is closed, there are certain diagnostic steps you can take in order to pinpoint the issue. The spreader module detects the chute is attached by a ground input on pin B of the port B connector coming into the module. On a polycaster spreader, this ground originates from the hopper side harness which receives its ground directly from the ground post off the spreader module. Once the hopper harness is plugged into the chute harness, the ground loops through the chute harness and goes back through the hopper harness into a two-pin connector on the spreader harness to pin B of the port B connector. When troubleshooting the CP code on a polycaster spreader, first ensure that the hopper harness and chute harness are connected. Check the connectors for corrosion or broken pins. Inspect the harnesses to ensure there are no visible signs of chafing or broken wires. Next, unplug the port B connector at the spreader module. With a test light or multimeter, check for ground on pin B. If everything is plugged in and working properly, you will see ground on this pin. Also, check for ground on pin E. There should never be ground on pin E unless the dump switches are engaged. If ground is present on pin E, then there is either a short in the spreader harness or there is an issue with the dump switch. If ground is present on pin B and there is no ground on pin E, replace the spreader module. If no ground is present on pin B, unplug the two-pin connector from the hopper harness to the spreader harness. On the hopper harness side, check for ground on the black wire. If ground is present, check for a break in the spreader harness. If no ground is present, unplug the hopper harness from the chute harness and check for ground on pin B. If no ground is present, check for a break in the hopper harness. If ground is present, perform a continuity check between pin B and C of the chute harness. If no continuity is detected, change the chute harness. If continuity is shown, check the hopper harness for continuity between pin C and the male pin on the two pin connector. More than likely, there is a break in that wire. On a steel caster spreader, the module detects the chute is closed, the same as a polycaster, by a ground input at pin B on the port B connector coming into the module. The ground is received through a magnetic switch on the hopper. When the chute is closed, the magnet on the chute comes in contact with the magnetic switch on the hopper. Once contact is made, the ground is sent through the two pin connectors to pin B on the port B connector. Troubleshooting this code on a steel caster is similar to the polycaster. First verify that the magnetic switch is present on the chute and the hopper side. Visibly check for broken wires or corrosion. Unplug the port B connector and verify that with the chute closed there is a ground on pin B and that there is not a ground on pin E. If there is a ground on pin B and there is not a ground on pin E, replace the spreader module. If there is no ground on pin B, follow the ground path back through the connectors and check for ground at the correct points. Thank you for watching this video. For more troubleshooting procedures, please reference the Spreader Mechanics Guide which is located under the support section on the website. For any additional information or questions, please contact the technical support team for further guidance.